Good morning, everyone. Hello, how are you? It's morning for me, or whatever part of the day it is for you, evening. Hello, my name is Olive, and welcome. Uh, welcome to my page. If you're joining me live, please say hi, and I can say hello to you. And if you're catching me on the replay, let me know that you're on the replay, and I'd love to shout out to you later. Today, I want to talk to you about food in the forest. I am so lucky to have such abundance around me. I live in British Columbia, Canada, and there's mountains and trees and forests. And I want to talk to you about these things that we have naturally live uh, just outside our backyard. In fact, I'm in my backyard. So, and I love to talk to you about health and wellness and inspire people on their wellness journey uh, to live a happy, healthy life, whether that's food, exercise, uh, using natural products to support our bodies uh, naturally. So today, I, it's a little wiggly out here. I'm trying to manage all kinds of things with my selfie stick. <laughs> so I have in my backyard a couple of large trees and I am so excited. Springtime is a wonderful time uh, for the large tree. Large tree is so, it's a coniferous tree, but it's different in the fact that it, in the winter, it drops its uh, needles or leaves. And so in the springtime, they just start to come up. So if I can uh, kind of pull it in here. So here is, they're just starting to uh, sprout and uh, come alive. So it's springtime here, April uh, in Canada. And so these are, they're delicious and they're so healthy for you. So I want to talk about uh, the large tree today. And so it's also called uh, tamarack. And like I said, it, uh, it's a uh, deciduous trees. I uh, just watching a hummingbird go by. So that's pretty exciting too. There's a bird in the bird bath. I'm not sure if I can look at this, like if I can turn it. Uh, where's my bird bath? Oh, right there at the end of the wall, there's a bird in there. But having a bath, so isn't that kind of cool? And so, yeah, so the large tree, uh, grows really, really tall to about 30 meters. And it also lives to be about 250 years old. So these ones are quite young. Uh, this is just a small little tree um, in my backyard. So uh, the Native Americans uh, would uh, use these large trees and they would chew the leaves as candy, uh, you know, for nutritional benefits, um, such as, uh, um, colds, arthritis, uh, and they would wash their babies in it to make their babies stronger. So imagine that. So it's also used today as an emulsifier, a stabilizer in lots of food, and it's approved. This is um, American literature, which I'm reading from. And it's approved by the uh, Federal um, Drug Administration as a food additive. So you can actually buy it, you know, as an extract too. But what better way is just to be out here and to um, eat it naturally. So it's really, really good for the immune system because it has a substance in it. And just let me check it. It's called arabinogalactin, if I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. And it's great for um, the intestines because it uh, feeds the intestinal bacteria. And so by feeding the intestinal bacteria, they grow stronger and then they're not taking the nutrients from the food that you're eating. So you get a lot more uh, nutrients. And so it boosts your immune system, uh, fights the free radicals in your system. So that, you know, helps with flus and colds and, uh, and that kind of thing. So really, really good. Um, you know, if you're starting to uh, have a cold, uh, just have some, some large uh, needles. And so it also provides fiber, which is really good for your colon too. And let me see, and great for inflammation, arthritis, um, asthma, uh, bronchitis, and that kind of thing. So yeah, so it's just wonderful. So you can actually buy um, an extract, like, you know, in the health food store for large. But what better way is just to have it, oops, I'm <laughs> just kind of jiggling around here, trying to hold too many things at once, uh, just to eat it. So what I like to do 
is let me just zoom in here is just to, when you uh, just take the very young young shoots like before they get to be um, strong needles so I can just pinch that off and just eat it just like that and it actually tastes really really good and it has kind of a, a lemony flavor to it so it's really good just to chew as is it's very very soft and it's not like a a hard needle at all so you can just chew it plain you can also candy it um, so you know uh, mixing it with sugar mashing it in a pestle and mortar and that kind of thing or you can add it to your baking like if you're making scones or shortbread or something like that it adds a little bit of lemony flavor and so so good for you all that fresh nutrition right from the tree you can make a tea out of it and you can also just add it to your salads just the way it is or if you want to preserve it for the future um, you can also do the herbal uh, type of remedy by infusing it in um, alcohol usually vodka or something like that and just let it sit for a little while strain it out and then uh, make that's how you make your own tincture so that's it for me today and so yeah just to uh, uh, summarize uh, large trees, a beautiful tree growing their, their branches in the springtime, um, have it for uh, your immune system, feeding, uh, feeding your uh, bacteria, your good bacteria in your gut, great for inflammation, your immune system, digestion, and um, uh, fiber, and inflammation. So, and just make it up as a tea. So I hope that has been valuable for you. Let me know if you've gotten some value from that and enjoy your healthy uh, forest walk. So if you're walking in the forest and you come across a large tree and there's it's springtime and you see those nice uh, little bit yellow green leaves, just have a little snack. All right. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and bye for now.